What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and I'm excited to present my working Lego arcade machines. This is a collection of all of my most popular arcade and fairground machines which are not only minifigure scale but are also fully functional. This is also my first Lego ideas project so if you want to see it made into an actual Lego set be sure to click on the link in the description to support the project on Lego ideas. So let's take a look at the arcade machines in action. First is the pinball machine, where you can test your skills to see how long you can keep the pinball up in the air. This colourful playing field is complete with obstacles such as bumpers, holes and flippers which can be controlled using the two buttons at the front. It's easy to reload the machine by placing a pinball inside the plunger pulling back and letting go to start your next game of pinball. Next is the claw grabber machine, where you can have a go at winning one of the prizes inside. Once you've grabbed something, you can move the claw grabber over to the drop off point where your prize will be deposited. This time it looks like we've won a toy teddy bear. The claw grabber machine has a compact design, making it ideal for your minifigure scale arcades and fairgrounds. From this angle, we can get a better look at the grabber mechanism, which is operated by turning a single dial at the front of the machine. This adjustable grabber is able to smoothly pick up any toy that is placed in the center. Now we get to the whack-a-mole machine, where you'll have to use your reflexes to see how many moles you can whack as they pop up and down. You can even time yourself for some extra challenge and see how high of a score you can get. All of the moles are self-contained within the cabinet, which also includes a handy space to store the rubber hammer when not in use, as well as a small platform for the minifigures to stand on. The moles can be activated by rotating the handle on the side, which makes each of the moles jump out of their holes before quickly hiding away again. Next up is the coin pusher, where you drop coins or tokens onto the moving platform and try to win more than you started with. The coins at the back push the ones at the front and sometimes they pile up but other times you win big as they all drop down at once. You'll need to practice timing your drops just right to have the best chance of winning. The coin pusher mechanism fits in a sturdy cabinet which is a great size to go inside your Lego buildings. And when you've finished playing the game you can open up the prize tray to collect your winnings. Finally, we have the shooting gallery game, where you can have some target practice as you take aim and fire at the moving target, and try to knock it down using each of the three stud shooters. You can adjust the difficulty of the game by turning the handle faster so that the target moves quicker and is trickier to hit, or slower so it's easier to hit. And no matter the speed, the target always pops back up after being knocked down. If you've enjoyed my working LEGO arcade machines, please make sure to support my project on the LEGO Ideas website by visiting the link in the description below and clicking the support button. If I reach 10,000 supporters, LEGO will consider making my working arcade machines into a real set that will be available to purchase. Until then, if you want to have a go at building any of these machines, check out my how to build tutorial videos for instructions. I also build a wide variety of LEGO creations on my channel, so take a look if you're interested. Thanks for watching and I appreciate your support.